I'm rather happily leaving this Uh, not her or them to this and it's kind of lucky that I arrived here in kind of the nick of time really um, put my bags down by the house went to the fruit trees because I'm just in love with my little fruit trees and they were just absolutely torn to pieces by the hot spell that Portugal's been having that left as soon as I arrived. I mean, it's nice, but it's not the heat wave that everyone was going on about. Uh, so I've I drenched them, I've loved them, I've weeded around them and they're looking a lot better. I'll, I'll show you now. Hang on. So, <sighs> I've literally been back five minutes and obviously the first thing I do is come and check the fruit trees and they're looking um, absolutely shriveled up in the heat. Just absolutely, <laughs> totally. I had this vision of uh, just having lovely little fruit trees with little oranges on them. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've literally just thrown the bags in the door and um, got the hose pipe on. Oh, got the hose pipe on this one. There's the Clementina, as you can see. Try to a crisp. Let's got a hose on that one next. Funnily enough, <laughs> the lemon tree, which um, always looked the worst. Um, doesn't look so bad as the others. Uh, this is one of the big juicers again. Absolutely scorched to a crisp. So massive regime of um, watering and hoping to bring them back to life. So kind of just really lucky that I arrived here. So I think any like these might rejuvenate any longer and I think um, I think we'd have been in trouble that's another one of the orange juices that doesn't look too bad but it's in a bit more shade so there we go folks if you plant some citrus trees in Portugal maybe stick them in the shade or fit an irrigation system I just wanted to um, talk to you a bit about some experiences I've had in Portugal since April, uh, culminating in something I felt I needed to discuss with you that happened yesterday. So in April, um, we went and filmed some properties around Lake Cabril and the water levels there were incredibly low. When the lake is full, the water came Up close to, to this road. Yes. Wow. We were uh, assured that it was because they were using, they were releasing water to produce hydroelectric energy uh, because of the uh, energy crisis, um, which kind of seemed to make sense. But it was there, there was something concerning about the the levels of water in Cabril. Then um, yesterday, I went to go and film another property for a client in uh, a place called Serta. He asked if I wanted to go and see the lake at Serta. So I said, yeah, that'd be fantastic. So we went to the lake in Serta. It's massive, it's big. Mm -hmm. And when it's full, all the way to the steps, there's a lot of water. I come here to fish carp, black bass. It was exactly the same thing. 
you know the the kind of the the, the water line was 20 meters lower than it it naturally normally is so it was like okay so they're not producing hydroelectric energy in the 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 uh the lake at Serta. so that's some um, that was two examples of an anomaly in the levels of water available in the local reservoirs and lakes of Portugal. Now, I'm, I'm not trying to be an alarmist here, and maybe this was just a, an anomaly, and maybe this is something that happens every now and again. I don't know, but, um, you know, if you do know, if you're aware of these kinds of things, then please, if you're Portuguese, if you know about these things, leave a comment down below because I really want uh, to start a discussion about this. And then this morning, my neighbour Nello asked me if... I would help him to go and get some water from his well, from his other piece of land. Um, he had uh, three IBCs on the back of his tractor. He was going to go and fill them up with his pump from the well and then top up his uh, cisterna, which is on his small holding, which is just down the road from us. So obviously we, we did that. Um, uh, it, was, um, it was quite an experience. I filmed it because it was terrifying and um, you might enjoy um, the terror of the experience. So we, we went and filled up these IBCs and then came back and topped up his cisterna and, um, and it just made me consider how precious a commodity water, I think water is going to be because of climate change and because of global warming. Maybe if you don't believe in those things, then this channel's not f for you because uh, this is kind of what we're about. And I think, um, I think along with energy consumption, uh, consumption in general, but also water consumption is something that we need to be talking about and we need to be doing something about. Um, whether that be through installing uh, rainwater gathering systems in your home with uh, French drains, gutters, all um, funneled towards tanks, uh, whether that's um, the, the reusing of grey water, so from your shower, your washing machine, um, your sinks, whether that can be reused for irrigation purposes um, obviously by using the, the right kinds of detergents, ecologically sound detergents. Um, and this is something that we all need to just start thinking about this sooner and doing something about it now rather than wait until it's too late. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. It's all our responsibilities to try and do more, to use less, um, and to conserve more um, for the benefit of everyone. Um, so here at Destino Portugal, we kind of set up this channel to try and encourage people to have the courage to, uh, to make a change to a more sustainable way of living, whether that be um, through growing their own food or you know, having solar panels or... Um, using less water um, and maybe finding somewhere a different country, maybe Portugal. Um, and that has just, um, it's expanded now to us trying to help you to find um, the right property for you in Portugal and to help you for, for, for us to be a bridge between where you are and where we are now. And um, and so maybe it's just something that you need to maybe just consider in list of priorities or your itinerary of of things that you want in your property, wells or boreholes or water mines or their own water sources uh, is something that maybe um, just move up your list of priorities. It may be something to consider. It's something we wanted, we just couldn't afford to, to, 
tick all of our boxes and obviously some of those boxes have to be left empty and um and now i'm considering um the uh borehole option if we can try and find the the, the funds to do it so anyway now we're going to go to the death ride through death valley to <laughs> to nello's well um, and then I'll give you a tour around Nello's garden, which is just amazing. Nello, I mean, to have uh, a friend like Nello, who, you know, the knowledge that he has, he's probably forgotten more than I will ever learn. And, um, and it's just an absolute gift, mainly because he's such a lovely human being, him and his wife, Teresa, uh, but also to be able to, to learn from them is, um, is just fantastic. So anyway, enjoy this next part. Um, I didn't enjoy this next part. I was quite terrified, which you might find quite funny. Okay, see you later. Um, this is uh, 
this is what the future holds for me. Maybe I should just go back to plastering. <laughs> okay, so I'm having a bit of a lesson today with uh, my wonderful neighbor, Nello. Hello. <laughs> okay, so, um, so Nello has been filling his cisterna, which is here, and he's just teaching me about the, it's got a pump in there, and there's a pump, and it's irrigating all of his vegetables. And we're gonna have a quick tour around his vegetable garden. Okay, potatoes. Yeah, Where's potatoes, uh, here, potatoes. Potatoes uh, are here. Uh, here, potatoes. Yes. It's uh, couve, couve. Couve. Caldo verde. Caldo verde. Cabbage? No? No, no, no. no. Uh, it's, uh, la. Uh, la. It's the couve, couve, it's the. Couve. Uh, for animals. Yes. And uh, for me. Okay. Okay. Yes. It's uh, la. It's the. Um, como se diz? Uh, abobora. Abobora. Yeah. See? Yeah. See, pumpkin. Yeah. Pumpkin? Yeah, no, yeah I no, think so. Yeah, pumpkin. Abobora. See? Yeah. Yeah, here. Here? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, it's herba. Herba. Uh, it's. Um, it's. Uh, <laughs> it's. No, 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 no wheat. No, nothing, you can't eat this. No, no, okay. No. Here. Uh, uh, corn. Corn? Yeah. It's, uh, in, Portug in Portuguese, is uh, couve, couve serrana. Couve it's couve ser para fazer caldo verde. Um, onion. Onion? Abobara? It's a cebola. Cebola, cebola. Yeah, cebola here. Ah, okay. Cebola. Here, feijão verde. Feijão yeah. verde. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but I'll I'll find out. <laughs> uh, no, no barn, no barn, no. No good. No, no. Nascer in Portuguese, nascer. Yes. Uh, barn. The feijão, no, no barn good. Okay. Here, uh, cebola. Cebola, uh, yes. La cebola, mas essa agora uh, semente. Ah, lá. Essa la... pequena coisa aí. Um, seeds, can you get the seeds? This is semente. Yeah. Yes, semente. Seeds. seeds. Yes. Semente. Oh, yes. Yeah. Here. Oh, in English, strawberries, strawberry, strawberries, morango, morango, yeah, morango, morango see, yeah. strawberries. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yum! Uh, it's cove, 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 uh, various, como se diz. It's cove lombarda, cove, it's a dua, duas qualidades, tu. Quality. Here, over. Uh, color. color. Uh, broco yes. Broccoli? Uh, it's a redon. Yes, 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 yes. Redon do la. This, também. Yeah, yes, comprendes? Yes. This, que cheiro. Yeah, huh? Here, uh, here uh, tomato. Tomato, yeah. Tomatoes. <laughs> here, here, see. Ah, oh, aubergine. Here, here in Portuguese. I think it's an aubergine. Yes, aubergine. Yeah, okay. I don't, in Portuguese, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Ah, in the 
this moment stop. Okay. Okay. So so this this pump. Yeah. Um, it it waters everything. It. Uh, aquí, yeah. uh, Ali, yeah, yeah. everywhere. They're yeah, from here. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Uh, it's um essential. It's it, essential. It, yeah, essential in essential. Portugal. Portugal. Um, it's uh oh, it's important. Ah, it's necessary. It is necessary. It's necessary. Okay. It's necessary. Yes. Yeah. Tomatoes, more. It's uh, French. Leeks. Oh. Leeks. It's <laughs> uh, pimento. Pimento, uh, chili. Uh, no, no, pepper. Pepper. Pepper, yes. Okay, let me see. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Pepper. La beterraba. Beetroot. Beterraba, beetroot, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, so pepino. Pepino. La. Pepino, pepino. Uh, cucumber. Yes, cu uh, cu cucumber. See. Okay. It's a pepino. Pepino. Oh. Uh, la. It's a, a pimento. Oh, look. It's a pimento. Yes. Look, Nello, Nello. Okay. Here. Yeah, yeah. See, si, see. Si. In Portuguese, pimento. Pimento, yeah. see. Si. Uh, figos. Figo, yeah. Uh, it's uh, maracujá. Maracujá. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, passion, passion fruit, passion fruit. Okay. Um, I'll I'll tell Teresa. Teresa gave Sarah some of these, and she took them back to England, and she made a cake with them, a bolo. Oh yeah. In England. Uh -huh. I'll I'll um I'll tell Teresa and get her to translate for you. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh olive. Uh, so Oliveira. Olive olive. Uh, a azeta? Uh, azeta? Uh, azeitona. Azeitona. Uh, azeite. Esse Oliveira. Oliveira, a nome da árvore. Oliveira. Uh, uh, azeite. Azeto. Azeitona, azeite. Okay, okay. He has a uh, uh, orange, no? Uh, yes. And uh, la, uh, pe pera la. Pera, yes. Yes, uh, ameixa. Ameixa, ameixa, ameixa. Ameixa. Uh, ameixa. Uh, it's a color uh, yellow, or color, color uh, red, uh, color. A, a ameixa, a, a plum? No, no. Don't know, I okay. Don't know. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, la uh, nozes, noz, um, walnut, uh, uh, noz, nut, yes, a uh, 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 round, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, but this is uh, uh, little, little, the small, no, 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 no. good quality, okay, yeah. um, my casa, yeah, um, uh, big, si. noz. Oh, okay. Yes, it, uh, by my by my um, my casa. Yeah. Uh, one of these, but but big. Yeah. Oh, the no. bomb. Okay. You you. Uh, um. Show you. I, I. I see with you. Yes. With yes. You. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, amazing. Muito obrigado. <laughs> it's a, a beautiful, beautiful garden. 
So this is Rui, and this is Luish. And I hadn't seen Rui till this morning, and he's my favourite Gato Dorua. And I thought he was dead, and I can't tell you how happy I was this morning when he rocked up, <laughs> meowing, looking for food, looking scrawny and hungry and scabby. So anyway, Dad is here to look after little Rui. Me and cats, who would have thunk it?